Uh, welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> Singer brain dump number 11. Which of the following is the least secure hashing algorithm? That is MD5. An employee uses RDP to connect back to the office network. If RDP is misconfigured, which of the following security exposures would this lead to? And that is D, a man in the middle attack could occur, resulting in um, the employee's username and password being captured. Joe, the security administrator, sees this is a vulnerability scan report. The server 10.12232 is running app Apache 2.22, which may be vulnerable to a MOD underscore CGI exploit. Joe verifies that this module is not enabled on the 10.1.2.232. This message is an example of a false positive because that module is not even on the system, so therefore how could there possibly be any kind of uh, vulnerability there? An auditor has identified an access control system that can incorrectly accept an access attempt from an unauthorized user. Which of the following authentication systems has the auditor reviewed? And that is a biometric based. All right, here we got a nice little drag and drop. Um, we got to drag and drop the right protocol to the vault port. As you can see here, we have the ports and here's the protocols. For FTP, we have 21. For Telnet, we have 23, SMTP is 25, SNMP is 161, SCP is 22, TFTP is 69. Now, if you guys have any you know, clever ways to have this memorized or not, I was trying to think of some kind of funny joke or naming uh, convention to do this, but the issue with that is, Three of these start in S, four of these end in P, so I couldn't really think of kind of, kind of a clever way to have this memorized, so you kind of just have to memorize it as 21 is FTP, 23 is Telnet, 25 is SMTP, SMMP is 161, SCP, SCP 22, TFTP, 69. All right, the chief technology officer of a company and is putting together a hardware budget for the next 10 years. She is asking for the average lifespan of each hardware device so that she is able to calculate when she will have to replace each device. Which of the following categories best describes what she is looking for? And that is the MTTF. Which is, think of maximum time to failure, I think? Yeah, maximum time to failure. There we go. A software developer wants to ensure the application is verifying that a key is valid before establishing the SSL connections with random remote hosts on the internet. Which of the following should be used in the code? Select two. The answer is software code private key and the OCSP. A security guard has informed the chief information security officer that a person with a tablet has been walking around the building. The guard also knows a strange white markings in different areas of the parking lot. That's kind of a hint, hints on white markings. The person is attempting which of the following types of attacks. As I can see the white markings, I just refer to as like kids playing with chalk. So the answer is war chalking. I doubt they're going to have the part where it says markings in different areas of the parking lot because I might just give it away. But walking around with the tablet and stuff, war chalking. All right, a system administrator is configuring a site-to-site -site VPN tunnel. Which of the following should be configured on the VPN concentrator during the IKE phase? That is Diffie-Hellman. I just remember this. I just think of IKE. I just think of IKEA for some reason. And Diffie-Hellman, she decides to go to IKEA every Sunday. That's how I have this memorized. The network operation manager has added a second row of server racks to the data center. These racks face the opposite direction of the first row of racks. Which of the following is the reason the manager installed the racks this way? The answer is to create environmental hot and cold aisles. Basically, by having different directions, the fans are blowing different directions, the heat and the cold are pushing out different directions. 
and that's going to create that nice little hot and cold aisle. Phishing emails frequently take advantage of high profile catastrophes reported in the news, which the following principles best describes the weakness being exploited. That is social proof. They're grabbing something that's true somewhere in the world. They're grabbing that truth and using that as part of their lie to try to get you to uh, give up information or to believe who they are. New magnetic locks were ordered for an entire building. In accordance with company policy, employee safety is the top priority. In case of a fire where electricity is cut, which of the following should be taken in consideration when installing new locks? Remember, you're trying to go for safety here. Failsafe. Yeah, I have a failsafe plan. They always say that. I have a failsafe plan. Be able to push those doors open. I don't know. And the chief executive officer CEO has reported that she is getting multiple telephone calls from someone claiming to be from the help desk. The caller is asking to verify her network authentication credentials because her computer is broadcasting across the network. This is most likely which of the following types of attacks. It is A, vishing, because they're going through telephone to talk to her. It is vishing. Administrators covers the following log entry on a server. Which of the following attacks is being attempted? It is a password attack. They're trying to get the password. <laughs> I don't like that, but yeah, that's what they're trying to do there. The security team wants to establish an incident response plan. The team has never experienced an incident. Which of the following would best help to them to establish plans and procedures? We've gone over this a few different scenario versions of this. It's a tabletop exercise. Which of the following would verify that a threat does exist and security controls can easily be bypassed without actively testing an application? That is a vulnerability scan. Vulnerability scan is an automated process of proactively identifying security vulnerabilities. Which of the following technology would be most appropriate to utilize when testing a new software patch before a company-wide deployment? B. Virtualization. Virtualization is a host of one or more operating systems, memory, single host computer. It allows multiple operating systems to run simultaneously. So basically, we're just going to virtualize the server and make it seem as if it is being set up on the actual day-to-day um, -day use server. So we're just going to virtualize and test it first. A system administrator needs to implement 802.1x, whereby when a user logged into the network, the authentication server communicates to the network switch and assigns the user with the proper VLAN, which the following protocols should be used. And that is RADIUS. Which of the following type of cloud infrastructures would allow several organizations with similar structures and interests to realize shared storage and resources? Actually, we saw this one earlier. It's uh, D, community. After you report uh, should be slow computer performance, a administrator detects a suspicious file, which was installed as part of a freeware software package. This administrator reviews the output below. Based on information above, which the following types of malware was installed on the user's computer. We actually saw this earlier too. It is a rat, remote access trojan. All right, we're gonna drag and drop, uh, basically from Liz at least to most. This items in the correct order in which friends and analysts should preserve them. So yeah, least to most. So basically, which one's going to get um, damaged first? So what's the most valuable to grab first? It's going to be the uh, cache, the RAM, the swap, then the hard drive. The company wants to host a publicly available server that performs the following um, functions. It evaluates MX record lookup, can perform authentication requests from A&A, AAA records, uses RS SIG, you guys should tell us one earlier too. It's the DNS SEC. The company has a data navigation system which uh, definitions for private and public. The company's security policy outlines how data should be protected based on type. The company uh, recently added the data type proprietary, which is following the most likely reason for the company. And we should tell us one earlier too, huh? Which is better data classification should be. Yep, that's it. Security Administrator is developing training for corporate users on basic security principles for personal email accounts, which following should be mentioned as the most secure way for password recovery. That is sending a pin to a smartphone through text message. 
company researched a root cause of a recent vulnerability in its software. It was determined that the vulnerability was a result of two updates made in the last release. Each update alone would not have uh, resulted in the vulnerability. In order to prevent the similar situation in the future, the company should improve which of the following. That is change management procedures. That way you know what's actually going to be. If I have those both at the same time, that's what causes this issue. A computer on the company network was affected by a zero-day exploit after an employee accidentally opened an email that contained malicious content. The employee recognized the email was malicious and was attempting to delete it but accidentally opened it. Which of the following should have been done to prevent this scenario from occurring again in the future? Set the email program default to open messages in plain text. The company wants to ensure that the validity and publicly trusted certificates used on its web server can be determined even during an extended internet outage. Which of the following should be implemented? That is OCSP. An, uh, an administrator intends to configure the IPSEC solution provides ESP with integrity protection, but not confidentiality protection. Which of the following AES module modes of operation would meet the integrity only requirement? That is the HMAC. Chief Security Officer uh, has issued a new policy that requires that all internal websites be configured with HTTPS traffic only. The administrator has been tasked to update all internal sites without incurred additional cost. Which of the following is the best solution for the network administrator to secure each internal website? That is A. Use certificate signed by the company CA. This way to update all internal sites without incurred additional cost. To be a CA certificate authority, you need to have infrastructure that consists of considerable operational elements, hardware, software, policy, and frameworks, and practice statements, auditing, security infrastructure, and personnel. Security program manager wants to actively test the security posture of a system. The system does not get production and has no uptime requirement or active use base. Which of the following methods will produce a report which shows vulnerabilities that were actually exploited? That is C, penetration testing. Penetration tests were pen tests and attempt to evaluate the security of an IT infrastructure by safely trying to exploit vulnerabilities. A crew intern in the purchasing department requires read access to shared documents. Permissions are normally controlled through a group called purchasing. However, the purchasing group permissions allow write access. Which of the following would best describe the course of action? That is B. Create a new group that has only read permissions for the files. Business has recently deployed laptops to all sales employees. Laptops are used primarily for home offices while traveling, and high amount of wireless mobile use is expected. To protect the laptops with, while connected to untrusted wireless networks, which following would best, uh, best method for reducing the risk having laptops compromised? That is operating system hardening. Which of the following security controls does the IRIS scanner provide? I think we all know this one. Physical. All right, here we go. We have a nice uh, little setup where we just got to drag and drop. So we got emails sent to multiple users, phone calls made to the CEO, phone calls made to individuals saying that there was an IT issue, um, social media, and friend of colleague asking questions of personal nature. So phishing, since it's sent to multiple users, the only can verify the username and password as phishing. Um, phone call made to the CEO, that's whaling. Phone calls made to individuals saying that it was an IT issue and asked for the username, um, user's password over the phone. That's vishing. Um, social media, we always wrote that to spim. Also, a, you know, version that is spam, but no, it's spim. And a friend and colleague asked you questions about personal nature, social engineering. And here's just more explanation if you want to pause and kind of look at each of these types. Here's a fun little simulation. You just receive a, um, some room Wi-Fi access control recommendation security consulting company. Click on each building to bring up available security controls. And for this, if you want to just pause and look at each of these, that's fine. Um, it's a lot to actually read off. Uh, basically what these should be changed to for each of these scenarios. Here's the second one. And the third one. And 
it does make sense, much sense to have the thumbprint scanner to see his off since you already have something that they are right there. Yeah. 